I was told that there were some firefighters who were almost trapped inside when they did go inside uh, at first responding to this small warehouse fire. Thankfully, that did not happen. As again, we can report right now, everyone uh, is safe, but fire crews expect this to be a very, very long day. Guys, we'll continue to keep you updated as this story develops throughout the morning. For now, reporting live in Highland Park, I'm Marielle Lou, Fox 2 News. Oh, and we just heard an explosion. Now, they thought that they could get uh, some, they thought that they got most of the propane tanks out. I'm far away from the camera right now. I'm on my way back uh, so you guys can see me. But I did just hear an explosion, and we saw uh, a big plume of smoke come out. If you pay attention, you see the black smoke. Uh, that's not a good sign. They're trying to make all that smoke white, which would really give us an indicator that they're starting to win here. Uh, we're not seeing that at this point. So they pulled out all the propane tanks that they could find, uh, but obviously there are some still inside, and they said that there possibly uh, could be more inside. I have Julie Mucker here, one of my friends who I've met here. Uh, she lives near this complex. Julie, you mentioned that you're worried they might have to evacuate you? Yes. Why? I'm very so worried because it's a whole lot of kids and everybody is on the other side of this complex. I mean, this building right here is just. And you said that you can see the flames from your apartment complex? Yes. It's pretty close? Very close. It's like a whole lot of sparks and flames is coming towards our house and Okay, well, we haven't heard any official word about any evacuations. Thank you, ladies. But uh, we do know that DTE was here on the scene, and uh, they have cut power here to the area. So uh, if we do hear about any evacuations or if they're asking for people to move out or move back, we'll certainly let you know live on air and also online. For now, reporting live in Highland Park this morning, I'm Marielle Liu, Fox 2 News there have been more explosions. There hadn't been explosions for uh, at least an hour and a half. There were propane tanks inside, pallets inside, cardboard, anything you can think of that's flammable that would be in a recycling plant they had in there. They believe there might even be uh, some other sort of fuel inside. So that's why now they're starting to push everyone back. But again, no injuries to report. Uh, they have kept all of the aerial towers up, which would indicate that they uh, don't feel like it's too dangerous uh, for them to even fight this fire right now. But this is a situation we will, of course, uh, continue to follow. We've been here all morning long. We're not going anywhere. I'm also live on Facebook uh, during the commercial break, so you can follow me there as well. For now, live in Highland Park, I'm Marielle Lou, Fox 2 News. Crews will be here for the next two days, if you guys can believe that. Uh, we were told that because this is such a huge fire, all they can do is attack it from the sky. They have four aerial ladders and they uh, have been here again all morning long. They even pulled out the ground crews because it's just too dangerous. There was a portion of this warehouse that collapsed. Thankfully, no one was hurt. We're told the 911 call came in. Seven employees were working overnight. It started as a small warehouse fire. Obviously, it's grown to be much more uh, since then, uh, now the crews are switching, but Detroit and Highland Park uh, firefighters will be here again for the next two days, putting out hotspot fires. They have no idea when this is going to be even under control. Uh, we have seen flames literally all morning. Usually in a situation like this, uh, you see the smoke, it starts to turn white. They'll stay here and continue to douse it with flames just to keep it wet. They haven't even gotten to that point yet, guys. There are still flames shooting out uh, from this side of the building and also flames over here not too long ago. Everything that was white still had an orange glow. So still a very active situation here. Again, we are on LaBelle and Hamilton in Highland Park near the lodge. We are hearing about traffic slowing in the area as well. So take all of that into account as you head to work this morning. Live in Highland Park, I'm Marielle Lou, Fox 2 News.